All right, I don't know if those are the exact same molds. Even with the limbs, does it? <gasps> What's up everybody? Jordan from Ginger Snap Disc Golf here. And today we're testing out the new Simon Line Eclipse Pixel. They just dropped it. A lot of other Halloween themed discs. And I'm gonna be throwing it, comparing it to a baseline pixel and then a premium plastic proxy you know the drill if you've ever been on the channel <laughs> we're gonna play three holes throw them out in the field see what they can do and then i'm going to give you my final thoughts on the discs and my opinion of whether or not the pixel is the same thing as the proxy or if it's something you should give a shot the feel of the disc is pretty good um just giving you a profile view you can tell super flat uh, a nice just curved edge that fits really really good in the hand not really a bead but if you're like me sometimes mvp plastic because of the over mold feels like it all has a bead compared to the baseline i mean they're almost identical say the premium plastic even feels a little bit slimmer in the hand you're probably thinking of course they're identical jordan they're the same mold yes but sometimes when you take a baseline plastic disc and put it into premium plastic it all of a sudden becomes a lot deeper and feels a lot different in the hand um, and MVP didn't do that. They did a phenomenal job with this. Lastly, this is what it looks like compared to the proxy. Fairly identical, but the pixel is just maybe a tad deeper technically. But for whatever reason, it doesn't feel deeper. I'm gonna throw all these flat here and just kind of see what they do. The hole's about 280 feet away, finishes uphill. <clears throat> was that flat? I feel like it was flat. Drift into the right. So that seems like a proxy, a little bit of fight at the end. All right, baseline pixel. Oh, dude, that might go in. Keep drifting, keep drifting. <laughs> That's so good. It had just a little bit less fight back than the proxy did. Eclipse pixel. Even with the limbs, does it... <gasps> Can you name a throwing putter that can hit limbs and still almost get an ace? Didn't think so. Dude, I don't know if you could have asked for better shots with the pixels. Like, both of those are insanely good. Oh no. All right, I'm not gonna lie. My first initial thoughts of the pixel, I'm a little disappointed in how they released the first premium plastic, like they attached it to a Halloween series and they might have done that with Lazat's first disc they made too. Um, I would have liked to have seen it in a little bit more of like a clean and just crisp and simple stamped look. Um, and maybe not like a glow plastic as well. I don't know, one of their like proton or neutron plastic I think would have been a better drop. But as far as the feel goes, and we'll talk more about that, it feels pretty good, even for like a deeper putter. All right, so on this hole, it's about 300 feet downhill. Plays as an island. Uh, I'm gonna go a pretty decent powered, like 50% or so hyzer on all of these, just to see what kind of flight we can get on hyzer. Um, I'm hoping for a nice little flipping push up um, and a tap in birdie, but so far, pixels are in the lead, so we'll throw those first. Baseline up first. Oh, that's not coming back. Man, that was a good shot, but it's not coming back. That pixel <laughs> went pretty far. Um, and you could tell just a seasoned baseline pixel. It just flips dead straight, goes dead straight, and finishes dead straight. It's kind of the whole thing that Simon was going for when they designed this. So it's not a bad thing. Bad for this hole, but not bad. Eclipse pixel. That might be the same thing. No, it might fight. Come on, fight, 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 fight. Skip, scoot. Dang, man. <laughs> so close. They're just, they're so straight. Like, I could probably put a crazy amount of hyzer and make sure that they finish left, but like, not many people throw hyzer like this, and those discs are just meant to be point shoot. So, we'll see if the proxy has any more stability. I know the proxy didn't go as far as the other two so it already has less glide but it also didn't even want to go left anymore like they almost fly the exact same all right i don't know if those are the exact same molds 
or if it's just how I threw all of them. I felt like I gave all of them pretty much the exact the same amount of power angle and I might have threw the proxy a little bit lower but like they flew literally identical the pixels just went further which means I think it just has a lot more glide than the proxy does it feels like it does all right so all of these technically would be out of bounds but for the sake of the video we're going to call them in bounds oh almost made the putt though oh god just don't hit the camera I'm not gonna lie too like if I wasn't so dead set on the wizards for my putting putters, the pixels have a stupid amount of glide when it comes to putting. Eclipse pixel still has the box. Only like 260 goes down this hill, matches, you wanna match the angle of the hill. So I'm gonna throw all of these on just a real power controlled and smooth Anheuser shot and see what they do on this last angle with the golf line. Um, I'm assuming that they're just gonna hold Anheuser the whole time. All of these will. And the proxy might have a little bit more fight at the end. I don't know the eclipse pixel i'm also going to try to give these like some height kind of around the tree so they might be further from the basket but will give you a better look of the flight path i don't know if that was anheuser it's interesting i'll have to look and see if that one was anheuser all right baseline pixel that was definitely anheuser proxy that was Anheuser for sure. Ooh. Before it hit the trees, you could tell though, the proxy was sort of starting to level out. All right, after further review, the first pixel I threw was definitely a lot more flat of a shot than it was Anheuser. But you could tell it still started to move right a little bit. And then because of the height, ended up fighting out of it. But I'm gonna throw them in the field like I always do. And I'll be sure that I get a really good Anheuser for that shot too. So where did that first pixel go? All the way over here. All right, so my final thoughts on the Eclipse Pixel. I think it's a great disc, definitely a point shoot disc. You can tell out here in the field when I threw it on Heiser, it just wanted to flip up and then move a little bit to the right, fight back at the end. When I threw it flat, it just kind of slowly moved right with a little bit of fight at the end. And then lastly on Anheuser, it just held Anheuser the whole way. Didn't burn, but definitely didn't want to fight out. So I think this is a great disc. Uh, for me personally, it's a little too deep, which I think probably hurt me a little bit when it comes to like trying to hit the right angle and the right power. It was a struggle to get it to come out of my hand smooth at times. But if you're a big Simon fan and you're looking for like a neutral, workable, glidey, neutral to like understable putter, it's definitely one you need to give a try. Especially if you already putt with the pixels, it'd be perfect to fit into your bag. So if you haven't already, go check out the recent videos I just dropped. Dropped one talking about distance. And then I dropped another one talking about what I think the best mid-range lineup is. And I'm coming out with a drill video for distance soon. As always, hope y'all enjoy the video. Stay snappy. Love y'all. See you in the next one.